So what were some of the most disturbing things about Knoxville's recent drag show protest? <laughs> Let's run down a list. This is WBIR Chief Meteorologist Todd Howell, one of the nicest guys in Knoxville media. Anybody would tell you. I'm not picking on Todd here, but I do have an issue with Todd's son. And I know the apple falls far from the tree sometimes. So I decided to call WBIR Channel 10 News. I have that call recorded. And I asked to speak with the news director, the assistant news director. Nobody was available of any power, but I did get to speak with a very nice young man in the news department, and he took my message down. I gave him all the details of why I wanted to speak with him, and I got no phone call for a statement. All little old Josh can do is call and ask for a statement. I give them 24 hours plus, and I don't get anything. So I had to ask why this cat, Nolan Howell, Todd Howell's son, is playing guitar for white supremacist Nazi boys and the guys who threatened to unalive me, Proud Boys and lots of other white supremacist groups. And I had to ask why. Well, I know why. It's because Nolan here is married to Ken Peters' daughter. <laughs> From Patriot Church, Chief Meteorologist Todd Howell at WBIR, his son is the son-in-law of cult leader Ken Peters. Again, apples fall far from the trees, but this was certainly disturbing, but I'd put it at a top five. This is Knoxville, and I know enough white supremacists in Knoxville media, trust me. The number four most disturbing thing about Knoxville's anti-drag protest. That doesn't stand for peanut butter. This is a proud boy from Knoxville, Tennessee. Hmm. Well, the thing about it is, is we tend to identify the dangers in our area so that those dangers aren't allowed to walk freely in our area because they're dangers to society. The Proud Boys, right there, in Knoxville. The Knoxville police were there. They didn't do anything. Still considering that Knoxville police are like two-thirds in these organizations, and I'll be fighting to make sure that they're audited for that, um, you know, that maybe that's the number four. What do you expect in East Tennessee, right? Number three. I talked about this in another video, but this woman here had her child as a human shield. The little Damien there was laughing and smiling. Yeah, this woman, if you know her, identify her and send her information to Child Protective Services. There were a lot of minors there, but none on our side. Uh, they were all seemingly on their side. What well, little children, it was disturbing. Number two. How about the moment I was on TikTok Live and the guy that threatened my life jumped out of the crowd to taunt me? Then I let this officer know that he was a danger with a warrant out and a police report and this officer did nothing. And when somebody pulled a gun as they drove by us, this guy said, what do you want me to do, arrest everybody with a gun? But number one, Ken Peters. Oh, 